Hi folks, so just wanted to quickly document see it's raining again. Uh, it's been like showery, it stopped. When you see the other video when I was doing about the um, uh, graffiti art, you'll see that, uh, well you won't see, but I mean it starts then, stops, stops for a little while. Uh, I went up the road, I tried Lidl's, they didn't seem any cheaper. I know this personally, my experience, I didn't see it any cheaper than like Tesco's or anywhere else to be quite honest. They weren't that vastly different. I mean, I'm going in there thinking like, oh, I should be able to get some stuff for like 25p, 30p, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there might be some stuff in there, but not the stuff that I wanted. Um, and it wasn't necessarily food related either, necessarily. Some might be. But, so I'm thinking like, there's not a big difference here anyway. Do you know what I mean? So, and it's all sort of unnamed brands. Do you know what I mean? I mean, again, I'm not necessarily saying that, you know, it's just that, I mean, because like some brand uh brands that you get that are not brand names you know that, that are not the leading brands or whatever um can be just as good if not better sometimes than some of the leading brands i'll grant you but still i don't know maybe it's because i'm brainwashed like everybody else that like you know you you believe that like the big brand names you can trust them more generally uh but these days i wonder if that's really true or not but anyway again i don't want to get it's not the i'm getting into all that anyway so but if i to say i thought to myself you know what not i'm not gonna get anything from here because it doesn't seem any different do you know what i mean from say iceland or uh poundland or or wherever do you know what i mean there's not a big difference maybe a few bob here and there but anyway so i decided i thought to myself right i'm gonna go to tesco's instead because it's just literally just a bit, uh, you know, coming back the other way to Tesco. So I went to Tesco's instead and got my stuff there. Anyway, and then I realised I forgot the butter, so I had to go to Iceland in the end anyway to get the butter, and I got some other, something else, or some uh, meat thing. Anyway, so, yeah, uh, and the, part of the reason for this vlog is, is, you see, this is the food that I've just bought, right? I haven't been paid yet. This isn't payday. This is, um, see, look, anchor butter, I've got that. Meat from Iceland, it's £1.50. Uh, you know, it's nice, it's family pack and it's you know it's got a nice bit in it, I guess. Uh, and then I got some like cheap tins of soup from Tesco's. So you see Tesco's own brand. Um, so you know, I've got like two of them, I think. Can you get two of them? I think I've got two of them. Yeah, I've got two of them. Uh, they were they were 35p each, yeah, so they were 35p. Um, so that's not bad. Um, and then I got like Tesco's uh, everyday value pork sausages and baked beans. So that would make a nice little meal in itself with a bit of bread. Do you know what I mean? Make some bean, beans and sausage sandwiches. <laughs> anyway, uh, and the anchor butter, by the way, that was 175 from Iceland. Uh, they had some butter. Like they had them, um, what's it? It was a bit cheaper, um, but it's nice. It's nice that I must admit. And that that's gonna go with my spuds. Oh, and I got some cheap spaghetti. You see, look, cheap spaghetti. Tesco's own spaghetti bolognese thing, and I can maybe put some other other spaghetti that's in there, that stuff with it, just to boost it up a bit, just to make it a bit more bulky, whatever. Uh, and then I got some. Um, Got some of these buns, uh, rolls, whatever you want to call them, buns, baps. There's all sorts of different names for them wherever you come from. Bit of Wensleydale cheese, I must admit, I do love Wensleydale cheese. Uh, <laughs> I can't resist it, it's really nice. It is, it's gorgeous cheese. That that was, um, oh, flipping out, I can't remember. Uh, I think that was about 175 as well, or something, like one something. Um, then I got some spuds. Some potatoes. Oh no, sorry, I can't. it's really difficult to sort of get things out of the bag and film all at the same time. Hang on. Right, so got jacket potatoes, but I won't be using them as jacket potatoes because, uh, funny enough, uh, I don't like jacket potatoes. Can't stand jacket potatoes. I don't like it. Even though it's potato, if you do it that way, I don't like it. Mashed potato chips, uh, boiled, uh, whatever, roasted. I'll eat them all day long. Uh, you do them as a jacket potato, won't touch it. Isn't that mad? Isn't that bonkers? 
You know, you do it as a jacket potato, I won't go near it. Don't like them, don't like them. But, you do them spuds any other way you like, whether you mash them, boil them, um, any other way, and I'll eat it all day long, like I said. Um, right, so, anyway, let's like say, uh, so the reason why I'm making this, Joanne lent me like nine quid, and that's why I've been able to get that. I've got like about 80p, 90p left, I think. Uh, so I've been there, so that'll keep me going until Thursday now, definitely. It'll probably even keep me going a bit longer than that, really. But Thursday is when I get my money again. Um, but anyway, so this, this basically is why I'm signing on. Because I can't keep doing this. This is not right. This is not fair on Joanne. Uh, she shouldn't have to keep bailing me out. And I keep saying to her, she doesn't have to do it. Seriously, I keep saying to her, don't, you know... No, nope, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll I'll manage somehow. But anyway, so look, you know, the cupboards are bare again. Uh, you know, it's, it just seems in that this last year, all I've been doing is making vlogs about how empty my cupboards and my food, you know, my food situation. Do you know what I mean? This now again, Joanne bought me that bread. She bought me the biscuits there and that milk. Um, you know, and like I said, you know, the thing is that. It's ridiculous. I can't. I can't keep going on like so. Uh, believe me, I, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Well, I'm going to have to go to the job centre at some point. If I don't do it today, I'm definitely going to do it tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try again and do it online again. Uh, I'm going to try, but it all it keeps going pear shaped for one reason or another. It keeps sending me to a different thing. Uh, a thing that I'm not entitled to, you know what I mean? I, I've only I'm, I spoke to a woman on the phone. And she said that I'm entitled to job seekers allowance, not universal credit. It's just got so complex. It's even more complex than I remember when I was signing on. Do you know what I mean? And somebody told me, and I've also heard it uh, uh, through something or other, someone on the TV or whatever it was, or whenever uh, that they actually the the government has deliberately made this more difficult for people to actually claim the benefits uh, so they can keep the artificially keep the um, employment figures down yeah uh, so that's what I've been told and this is coming from almost the horse's mouth as well this isn't just something I've heard I've seen it on the TV but I've also heard it from the horse's mouth somebody that works in that sort of department or whatever have said that it's, it actually was deliberately and they deliberately did it they said Right, we're going to make this so complex, so difficult, that it's going to discourage people from actually wanting to sign on. Because the more difficult we make it, it's going to discourage people. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and they ain't kidding. Do you know what I mean? Because I've been trying for the last couple of days now to do it online. And I've just really, it's just, anyway. Uh, and the other thing, of course, is the tax thing, which again is something else I need to get onto. But I'm going to get the signing on thing sorted first. Because once I've done that, once I've declared myself no longer self-employed and actively seeking work again, uh, then in terms of the tax thing, that will presumably revert back to them just doing it automatically. Do you know what I mean? So I don't have to worry about that anymore. I didn't have to worry about that for years and years and years because like, I was signing on or I was homeless or whatever. And then as soon as I go self-employed and try to do everything above board and do it the right way and declare everything and all the rest of it, you know, that's exactly what I did. This is what I was told when I was going self-employed by the, the guy at the job center and this, that and the other, and, you know, inform the tax people, say, look, you're going self-employed, this, that and the other. And this, I did all that. Do you know what I mean? Kind of wishing I hadn't now. Um, because it's worrying me sick. It's worrying me sick. It is, you know, because I'm frightened that I'm going to lose my flat or they're going to put me in prison, or they're going to come uh, send the bailiffs round and take all my stuff, so I'll have no computer, I'll have no camera, I won't be able to do my videos. Uh, you know, I know, I know, maybe I'm panicking too much, and maybe I'm worrying too much, I can't help it. Um, it's provoking so much anxiety amongst, in, inside me at the moment. It's just, it's driving me nuts. Anyway, so, like I said trying to get my head around it all and and get it sorted um, anyway so uh, yeah so that's why I'm, there's just a little explanation uh, of the reason why I'm going to be signing on again don't want to believe me I've been you know, I mean can't you tell I mean I've been procrastinating and procrastinating and you know 
And I'm going to have to bite the bullet. I, I ain't got any choice. I, I say I can't keep doing this. I can't live like this. This is not right. Um, I'm going to have to go to the job centre. Uh, and if I don't do it today, I'm definitely doing it tomorrow. Definitely. So there may not be a video tomorrow. There may be. I don't know. Depends. See how we. Excuse me. See how we get on. Because sometimes going to the job centre can be a flipping all day thing. But I've got a funny feeling. Judging by what I'm experiencing online so far and what I've seen of the job centres just recently as well, not that I've been in one, but I've walked past it many times in Brixton, I've got a feeling that you're not, you don't actually, you can't actually sign on, sign on at the job centre in the in the sense that you don't fill the form out there with them like you used to. You know, if you have trouble filling out forms because because they're complex, man. They're not. It's not just like a simple little tick box form that you just do within five minutes. These things are like takes you half your lifetime to fill it. No, okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating, but I mean, you know, it takes a good while to fill these things out, and they're not. They're like loaded questions as well. They're not straightforward. Do you know what I mean? They're sort of like you know, quite in depth, complex questions that they ask you. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like they ask you what underpants size you're wearing, what shoes you wear. So, no, no, again, I'm exaggerating, I know, but, you know, oh, man, it's, I hate it. I hate, I hate it. Um, but, like I said, you know, I've got to try and survive, haven't I? So, right, okay, I'm going to leave the vlog there. Like I said, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of what's going on. And, like I say, I'm definitely going to be trying this online signing on business again. I'm going to try it once more. Third time lucky or unlucky, depending on how you view it. Um, and then if not, I'll go to the job centre. Well, one way or the other, as soon as I've done the... on, if I think I'm going to have to do it anyway, regardless of whether I have success today or not. I'm still going to have to do it one way or another thing. Because like I say, I think that's the only way you can do it these days. Um, and then as soon as I get the interview to go to the job centre, go to the job centre, do whatever they say I've got to do, uh, and then hopefully without a week I should then start getting some regular income uh, at least once that's sorted out and then just go from there and see what happens from there I guess right okay I'm gonna leave it there for now guys uh, I'm gonna upload both of these little videos they're only well this one's a bit longer than the other one perhaps because I waffling 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 because um, now I'm racking my brains as to what um, yeah I, I'm thinking I'll maybe do a gaming video later on uh, see how we get on. Right, okay guys, so I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now.